All right, Alvin Kamara running back, star running back for the New Orleans Saints, has tested positive for the COVID-19. Uh, obviously, he won't play in the season finale, but there are concerns about him being ready for their first playoff game in the first round. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon like, button, share the video. Now, if you haven't been brought to speed, the NFL added two teams, one in the NFC, one in the AFC, to the playoff. So there's only one team that gets a bye week. So Green Bay, it seemed like they might get the bye week. If they win again this week over Chicago Bears, who need to win to get in. And then the Kansas City Chiefs, who only lost one game shockingly all year. So now you got a situation in which the Pittsburgh Steelers won't have a bye. And New Orleans Saints, I think, if they went out, they will have to have, be the next seed. So they won't have a bye. In previous years, the top two seeds had a bye, and the NFL changed that. So here you go, Adam Scheffner, Saints running back. Alf Kamara tested positive again and will be placed on Reserve COVID per source. He's out Sunday, and now the question will be whether he returns for or re think he meant returns for the first playoff game. So depends on how his body reacts to it. Um, you know, he may not be ready, and I'm not sure exactly who they'd be playing. So it either probably going to be the Bears or the Arizona Cardinals, or somehow the Rams can get in and who they could be playing. And then you know, with New Orleans, they always have bad luck in the playoffs. Other than the year they beat Peyton Manning, which that was one of my favorite Super Bowls when Terry Porter picked off Peyton Manning. But, um, yeah, it's going to be questions, man, at this point. If you're ready, and then question is, can they beat the Bears if they win and get in? Can they beat the Cardinals if they get in? Can they beat the Rams if they get in? Alvin Kamara is a very important piece to what they do. But also, the question is, will Michael Thomas be healthy to come back and contribute if there's no Alvin Kamara? They do got Latavius Murray, which he's a really, really good backup running back. But he really ain't the receiver that he is out the backfield, so... You know, I think Sean Payton to be able to cook something up to get out the first round with or without Alvin Kamara. But that's a tough loss because he is their offense. You know, but they won without him before. But you just look at New Orleans, you know, them a couple years ago losing to the Rams in the NFC Championship game and them going down there kicking field goals and not scoring touchdowns end up being a difference. And they said it was a bad call, which it was a missed call. But then again, if y'all would have scored touchdowns early on, they all would have went up on the Rams. All right. Ironically enough, I think they could face them in the first round. You go back another years, you know, the Williams kid, um, letting Stephon Diggs score the touchdown. They just had really, really bad luck losing to Kirk Cousins last year in the first round of the playoffs. You know, this is just a team that just can't afford to, you know, have any more bad luck. And I think that might start with, with Drew Brees. He ain't really played good in the playoffs. It shouldn't be a drop off, but he seemed to get a pass because everybody loved the loser. And nobody loves a champion. Be honest. If you know people got tired of New England winning every year, year they want to see them get knocked off and see the dynasty end. And people was happy and they was jubilee once that did happen. Nobody loves a winner. Let's keep it real. Real. Nobody want to see every same team win a year in and year out unless it's your team. And a lot of people gravitate to Drew Brees. If Drew Brees was in pay, Tom Brady position and he won that many championships, they'd be hating on Drew Brees. And a lot of them do is be re rooting for Tom Brady. And that's just the honest truth. But Kamara is just one of the best players in football, regardless of the position, what he means to that team, and what he means to Drew Brees. With Drew Brees, Drew Brees can't throw it down the field because of his arm. So Kamara allows them to get explosive plays that mimic going downfield with yards after the catch. So, you know, hopefully with Alvin Kamara, you know, he tests negative and we can get him back in the playoffs because he's one of the most exciting players in the NFL. What's so crazy is that, you know, Nick Saban didn't use him at Alabama. And, you know, basically he came out of Tennessee and he did his thing. So let me know what you guys think. Check out the NFL playlist. Uh, don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, quiet response, your video request. All my social media links in the description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. Also got a Facebook group, those links in the description. If you want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. We go.